Any watch guys out there? Any watch guys want to look at a uh, Seiko Blue Transocean? Great wrist presence. Um, wearing this really enhances my personal mythology of uh, self-grandiosity. To use the language of Jaron Lanier. Hey man, do you guys know what a watch guy is? A watch guy is someone who gets a dopamine rush when he's watching TV and there's someone wearing a watch and he loves the watch and he has to know what it is. Uh, a watch guy is someone who will be watching a YouTube video and there is uh, an unboxing and he just goes crazy. Giant dopamine rush. Wait a minute, McMahon. You are that watch guy. Yeah, I'm a watch guy. For a lot of you guys who watch this video, you know I'm a watch guy, and a lot of being a watch guy is about dopamine. A lot of what we do in life is driven by dopamine. Uh, I'll be unboxing a coral blue monster in the next week or so. I'll be unboxing an orange third generation monster in the next month. I pre-ordered an orange, I got the coral blue, I've gone monster crazy, I'm, I'm I'm all uh, hyped up with uh, dopamine, and I've been thinking a lot about dopamine lately because I'll be teaching a, a book by Jaron Lanier. He's a futurist. I love that title, a futurist. Uh, Jaron Lanier uh, wrote a book uh, called uh, 10 Arguments for Deleting Your uh, Social Media Accounts uh, Right Now. Um, well, should, I, that's another video, I'll go into that one, but here I am doing something on social media, so that would be somewhat of an oxymoron for me to go down that road. Uh, but uh, he writes a, a, a very uh, frightening thesis that has a lot to do with dopamine. A lot of what we do in the world of social media is driven by dopamine, and I think we could break down some of the uh, concerns of dopamine in the context of his book in three areas. One, social media gives us rewards and punishments based on how much attention we get or we don't get, and this creates behavior modification. And this behavior modification is pretty new. It's only about 10 years old, and it's at the expense of our free will. I mean, we're so modified, we're so controlled by uh, dopamine in terms of rewards, getting attention on social media, that we're being conditioned in ways that are, that are gradual and, and we don't see it happen. Now, let me tell you guys something, man. If I do a watch video, I get 5,000% uh, more traffic than if I play the piano. I love playing the piano, man. I, I, but, you know, come on, man, 100 views versus uh, 13,000 views of the Scion Blue uh, Seiko Diver. Don't, you can see the behavior modification at work. I remember uh, five years ago or so, ten years ago or so, when I used to listen to Sport Talk Radio, uh, Colin Cowherd, who I like a lot, I like his enthusiasm, he said, uh, man, if I talk about hockey, ratings plummet, boom! And... Uh, I talk about NFL, I don't care what time of the year, year it is, I talk about NFL, I get a spike in ratings. You don't think that's, uh, and he admits it, man, that's, that's modifying my behavior, man. You know, and, and so we, we do things for attention. And because we, we don't want to be ignored, we get that dopamine rush when we get attention on social media, and, and we get deprived of our little dopamine snack if people ignore us. And uh, what Jaron Lanier says, a second point, in addition to losing our free will to this behavior modification, we become nasty, ill-tempered, and obnoxious due to this whole social media environment. Because we become addicts for dopamine. And when you're an addict, you become a miserable person. Number one, you know, the dopamine is not going to work eventually. It's going to wear out. Number two, you're always on the hunt for more dopamine. So you're, you're miserable, you're selfish, you have no empathy. Jerry Lanier goes deep into the profile of a dopamine addict. You've lost your empathy, uh, you're selfish, you have the classic symptoms of, of an addict. And that's a whole, not just a whole nation, but a whole world, man. Come on, what do we have, like 2.5 billion people are on social media right now? I mean, social media has taken over uh, the planet. And that's a huge... Uh, problem. The third thing is uh, 
we become addicted to uh, a personal myth of self-grandiosity on our social media persona. Could you imagine, for example, if I became the uh, the uh, the watch curator master? Come on, dude, taking yourself that seriously? I, I could never do that. Uh, you know the watch uh, channels that I watch. You know, I, there's no one doing that, thank God. But uh, you know. Uh, I am the watch curator. I, you know, come on, dude, don't do that. So, uh, what happens is this personal mythology of self grandiosity becomes our persona, and we no longer pursue uh, real friendships where we're, we're dealing with people one on one. How are you guys doing with your friendships in the world of social media? Can I tell you something, man? I'm doing terrible. My best friend Tom, Tom and I, he, he's a former Olympic wrestler. Tom and I have been talking about going out for lunch for about six months. Haven't done it yet. We keep talking about it. He called me on my birthday a couple months ago and said, talked about it. I talked to him uh, three days ago. We talked about it. And now, and check it out, man. He's 10 years older than I am. His lady friend just moved in with him. He's got a lady friend. The dude is 10 years older than I am. He's still in beast mode. You can't take out the wrestler from this dude. He's just so competitive and beast mode. He's, now he's got a lady friend. I don't think I'll see. My other buddy, Pedro, we've been talking about having lunch for three months. And I, the only thing, I did, and this is a subject for another video, I think Americans are just really busy right now, just trying to make it. And I'm not that as busy as most people. I mean, I'm a college uh, professor, so I have more free time. But, you know, I have kids, and being kids is so tough these days. That's another video, why being a parent today is harder than 30 years ago. That's a whole new video. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we'll go into that. But uh, I don't think people have time for friendships the way they used to. You know, there's this show, what's it called? It's called uh, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo on Netflix. I'm not really into the show that much. People are so busy, they don't have time to organize or clean their house, man. They're hiring a consultant to clean their house, man. That's busy, man. So, uh, that's that's a subject for another video, but uh, think about dopamine, man. Is everything you're doing part of a dopamine uh, reaction, man? I'm getting a, a coral blue monster in the mail, I think tomorrow, or even maybe later today, man. And I can already feel a dopamine surging in my veins. I kind of got mixed feeling about that, man. I mean, is that the basis of my happiness? I'm, I'm terrified, man. Tell me what you think. Until next time, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out.